the thing that we find in chipping, the worst thing people do, flip their wrist through impact. Now, I find that the reason people do that is one, they're trying to scoop the ball up into the air, and the other thing is that they break down because they stop at the ball, and the only way they can follow through is to make the club follow through, and then they break down the wrist. But with the new grip, running the club up the lifeline, but with the hand turned all the way over to the right, you have the option, you can see it's here, running through the lifeline. You have the option of putting the thumb down or I wrap it around the shaft. But what this does, it does not allow the left wrist to break down. So if, if someone is swinging and they stop, the club stops. So with this grip, it forces the person to follow through. And as we know in the short game, the forward motion is what hits the ball, what makes you hit the good shot. So with this grip, and the wrist cannot break down, then we just, uh, the arm swing to the right, swing to the left, land the ball three or four feet on the green, picking the club that makes it roll to the hole. What I'm doing with the grip, it's in the lifeline, but I've turned my hand all the way where the palm is on top, the lifeline is on top. This does not allow my wrist to break down. I have to swing the arms forward. So in chipping, arm swing to the right, they swing to the left, land the ball three or four feet on the green, picking the club that makes it roll to the hole. In the rough, if the ball is sitting up on top of the grass, and we've all done this where we've swung and fluffed under the ball, if the ball is sitting up on top of the grass, I, I use my regular chip swing, same grip with the hand is on top. The secret here is to measure to the bottom of the ball, not all the way to the ground, but to the bottom of the ball. Then I just make my same little chip swing, chip it up there and let it roll 10 yards to the edge of the green and about five yards to the hole, so 14 yards total. And uh, I'm trying to just hit the ball hard enough to land it up there and let it roll to the hole. But with my lob wedge, the 60 degree, ball sitting up in the grass. Measure to the bottom of the ball, little swing right, little swing left, land it up there, let it roll to the hole. If I've got a bad lie, the ball sitting down in the grass, I have, uh, have three options actually. From this angle, I can make the club. I can use the hit and hold method that's on the website where I bend from the elbow, keeping the wrist straight, bend it up, straighten out, get down on it, pops it out of there, get very little grass between the club and the ball. Now another technique that we can use that we couldn't ever use before, but because of the grip we can use, we can use what we call the hammer method, where I just cock the wrist. With this grip, the wrist can cock, but it can't flip through. So I cock the wrist and just hammer it out of there. Very effective for the, uh, when the lie is down. The third uh, option is what we call putting it off the toe, where we, where we actually set the club up vertical with the, and, and put the ball off the toe of the club. It works very well out of this steep grass. Now the first one I'll use, I'll do the, the hit and hold method, where I bend from the elbow. And what this allows, because the club comes up and down, I get very little grass between the club and the ball, and I can get good, clean contact coming out of the, that bad line. Now the next swing, we're going to do the hammer, where we just cock the wrist. And again, the hammer method, just cock, pop it out of there. Very effective uh, out of these bad lies, out of a hole, or off of hard pan, off of a bare lie. Again, the hammer method, just cock and pop, or hammer. It just pops that ball up. Again, this is the 60 degree wedge, hitting it out of a, out of a down line. Works very well. One more, just cock it, hammer it. The ball comes out of there pretty, pretty clean out of that bad line. Okay, this, this third method, third option, I kind of call it the Paul Runyon method, it's the way he chipped. You, you set the shaft up almost vertical, choke down. We don't necessarily, you can use the hammer, the, you can use the, the life grip, hand grip with it. Works very well because you can't break the wrist. Or you can use your normal putting grip, either one, whatever you feel like. But the point is, the club is, is the shaft is almost vertical. 
you turn the club to the left because it, when you lift the shaft up, the ball will have a tendency to go to the right, so you turn the club in. And what you're trying to do is hit the ball right off the bottom of the toe of the club. This is where contact's made. And the reason this is effective is because the whole head is not going through the grass, just this area is going through the grass. So it uh, will slide through that grass and the bad lies uh, very well. Well. Another option, it's a very safe option, using the 30 degree uh, is just to use your regular chip stroke uh, with this grip, with the left hand on top through the lifeline. Whether you have a down lie or a good lie, if the ball's sitting up, I'll do one where the ball's sitting up. Uh, this one is one where you're just going to bump and run the ball, roll it up onto the green, but you just use uh, just use enough stroke, kind of like a long cut. Roll it up. All right, now. The, the magic thing about this 30 degree club is even when the ball is sitting down, down in the bare lie or down in the grass, this club catches good clean contact. So I still just make my, still have the same grip, left hand on top, just make my little regular chipping stroke, bump and run. Contact is very clean. Uh, almost, it's almost as clean sitting in a, down in the grass as it is when it's sitting on top of the grass just a very clean contact which gives you the control. Let's that ball roll right up there onto the green. All right, now whether I have a good lie, as bad lie as you can see on the other chips, I still had to land the ball just short of the green, but if there was a sand trap or, or a really deep rough between me and the hole and I had to land the ball on the green and stop it close to that hole, then I would hit my, hit my little flop shot. Now, Two, uh, I hit it two ways. If the ball is sitting up, I don't want to get real wristy because if it's sitting up, I can fluff under it. That happens all the time in flop shots. So if the ball's sitting up, what I do is I use my under over grip. The left hand is under the grip, the right hand's on top, right palm. Left palm under the grip, right palm on top of the grip. This is going to open the face. And then what I do from here is kind of a, uh, an arm swing, not much wrist action here. And that, uh, keeping the wrist fairly straight, uh, not much wrist action, allows uh, allows the club face to, to catch the ball solid and not fluff under. It's a very high shot that'll stop quick. Uh, it's stopping with height more than spin because the ball's teed up. And I'm hitting it with that open face. Put the left palm under, right palm over. even down in a hole or down in the divot, down in deep grass. Then I use the under over grip, and this is where I pull the elbow back, cock the wrist up, and then I do what we kind of call the saw motion, where I kind of feel like I cut across or pull toward me, pull the club head across the ball, like I swing to the left. So this is more wrist action, more elbow motion. Uh, left, el uh, Right elbow goes back, wrist go up, all across it. It's a very high shot, more spin, gets that ball up out of the deep grass, gets it close to the hole. I'm aimed just a little bit to the left, got the, the under over grip, elbow back, up, saw across it. This is the, uh, again, the flop shot where I've got uh, very little green to work with, got to land it on the green. I've got a good lie of the ball sitting up. This is the shot, under over grip, left palm under, right palm over. Uh, when the ball's sitting up, it's more of a turning motion with the body, trying not to cock the wrist. That keeps me from sliding under the ball. I measure to the bottom of the ball, aim a little bit to the left, and just uh, make that turning swing. Measure to the bottom of the ball, Try not to get much wrist action. That keeps me from sliding under the ball. I get a very high shot, stops very quick. Even though there's not a lot of spin on this shot, it, uh, it goes so high, it's so high that it, when it lands, it doesn't roll. Do one more if I can get to sit up in the grass. Okay, under over grip, aim a little left. 
no body mode, like no wrist action. When the ball's sitting down in the grass, down in the hole, down on bare dirt, like we get here in the winter on dormant turf, again, left palm under, right palm over. This swing, I, it, more wrist action, I pull the elbow back, up, saw across the ball. This gives me that flop shot, the under over grip gives me a flop shot. I'm aim left of the hole a little bit, elbow back and up, saw across. Very high shot, good contact out of a bad line. Aim a little left, under over grip, elbow back, up, saw across. Extremely safe shot. Got the ball sitting down in the grass. I'm downhill to a downhill light, to a downhill green, a uh, fast green. Uh, I've got to stop the ball quick. Again, here's where I use a little mini flop shot. I'm using the under grip. I'm hitting a little mini flop shot. Elbow. Elbow backing up. Saw across it. Oh, it's just not quite as big a swing as the record flop shot. This is my sand shot. I got a short sand shot, the pin's close. Uh, the lip of the trap's about five feet high. This is my 60 degree L wedge. And, and this is the shot, sand shot that I've learned with the, the new twins. And what I do is I take my regular grip, my normal grip, line up just a little bit to the left. The different swing that I make is this. I vertically cock my left wrist up. I mean, I'm vertically cocking the left wrist up and then I slap the the sand with the bottom of the club and pull across. So I feel like I'm really cutting across the ball. This gives me a very high shot with a lot of spin. Vertically up, slap the sand and cut across. And this is for my sand shot when the pin's close. Line up a little bit to the left. Regular grip, vertical cock, slap the sand with the bottom of the club, Cut the drag across. Okay, again, same little sand shot, 60 degree wedge, regular left hand grip, regular grip. I'm actually playing the ball two inches forward of center. I'm hit two inches behind it. I'm getting a vertical left hand wrist cock like this, hitting the sand with the bottom of the club and dragging across. So I feel like I'm really cutting across the ball. It gives me a very high sand shot. A lot of spin. This is uh, the easiest sand shot I've ever had, thanks to the new twins. Line up a little left, vertical cock up, slap the sand, drag across. <laughs> 